Welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So today's game looks like Arthur gets to go first. And he will start off with a six, so he will get Oriental Avenue. Well, we both land on Oriental Avenue. That is not good. So Arthur would like Virginia Avenue. There we go. I finally get my first property of the game. Arthur is up three properties to one. Let's make that four to one. Arthur is off to a good start. Four to one already. Make that four to two. And Arthur is unfortunately heading for jail. That's good. All right, out you go. Hopefully he does not get a three and a three. He's not even have a chance at a monopoly. Wow, apparently Arthur went to jail, so now apparently my piece also has to go to jail. He doesn't have to go to jail, but I, we both landed on the, landed on the go to jail space. So. Look at that one hundred dollars. That is helpful. I don't mind getting a hundred dollars. Wow. There would be my first trail, but of course I don't do that. Arthur is down to sixteen dollars. So well I get an extra hundred. Alright, that is not good. Of course I'm gonna take a chance to try to get land on Baltic before I make the trade. Look at that, I land on Baltic. So Arthur would like to trade. I should have made the trade right away, then I could have had a monopoly. But unfortunately, I went for it, and so that could easily be a bit of a mistake, but look at that, he would have landed on it. We can't let Arthur get a monopoly. Oriental Avenue. He owns that property, so I have to buy it. Yeah, he's $152, so Arthur is down to $12. So let's. I will take New York Avenue for $20. That's a good price for New York Avenue. Alright, anytime now you can say sold. That is helpful. Sold. Arthur, that's not good. You can't afford that railroad. So I will bid 12 for you. I saved myself a dollar by going first. So I get Pennsylvania Railroad for $12. That's good. Unfortunately, my piece is headed for jail. So I will get out instantly. So I will definitely be paying the $50. Right, Arthur, let's land on a property that you can buy. Like this. Oh, no, I should have let Arthur go first. I bid $5 and then said, do you want 10 So Arthur bid 10 So I get it for $32. That's okay. That's still a good price for it. $32. So I'll take Venter Avenue for $18. Wow, I'm getting a lot of properties via auction. It's not good for Arthur that I'm collecting all these properties. So, and very inexpensive, by the way. You can't pay your bill. So, but he can mortgage a property. Which one will he pick? He picked Meta Traded Avenue. That's good. He get $30. So, unfortunately, he gained $10 by doing that. So, it's $22. That's the bar instead of $12. It needs to go collect $200. Look at that, $14 for Pennsylvania Avenue. Good thing I went first, I could have sa I saved $22 by doing that. Alright. Sold. $14. Let's see. Six. Arthur has landed on go. That's good. Advanced to Illinois Avenue. So I own that prep. I still could get Boardwalk or Park Place. Wow, look at that. Get out of jail free. I believe, yeah, that's the last shot I have out of Monopoly, unless I make a trade. Then I would have a chance at others. But for now, let's try to work on Boardwalk and Park Place. Seven. Look at that. Pay no rent. I saved two dollars by 
because Arthur has had, had to mortgage that property. Look at that. Oh, meeting railroad. Yeah, I'll buy it. 208, so there's no chance, there's no guarantee that I would have saved money. Unbelievable, he owns a utility. You owe $100 for rent. But he can mortgage a property. He picked Oriental Avenue. He received $50, so he is down to $8. That is not good. So basically, if I get electric while wow, that is good, that means I don't have to make any serious trades. So I'll take $100 from you. That is helpful. So, good, New York Avenue. Let's see, Arthur does have a few trade outlets. Of course, there's no guarantee I'm going to get bored and walk with Park Place. But if Arthur lands on them for only $98, then I'd get them. Seven, good, good, it is mortgaged. So that's what it's like to be Arthur when I, I mortgage all my properties. So Arthur would like to trade. He would like Electric Company. So I will be rejecting that trade offer. Seven, I'll buy it. I should easily should have traded, but it's all right. I still can get bored walking park place, and I have three railroads, so... Eleven. That is not good for Arthur. That means I get boardwalk for one hundred three dollars. That means he needs park place. Very badly, which means he'll need some money. Unfortunately, I now own boardwalk, and let's see. And I'll own Atlantic Avenue soon. $99 for Atlantic Avenue. That's a good price for that. Wow, $99. So hopefully, you know, I can get Park Place. Let's see, Arthur. $8 to Arthur. That is not good. Because then I would have to make some trades. Wow, look at that, another hundred dollars. But if Arthur keeps giving me this money, I can just keep making these trades. Oh, I'm obviously going to pay two hundred. At this point, why would I not pay two hundred? Look at that, twenty-two dollars. So Arthur clearly would like to avoid Park Place by any means necessary. Wow, another one hundred dollars. That's good. Well, if Arthur keeps giving me a hundred dollars, then I could just buy a monopoly from him. So Arthur would like St. James Place. Unfortunately, I have to reject his trade offer. Wow, Fourteen Arthur, and now another forty to Arthur. Phew. That is not good. You can't be giving me one hundred dollars. Seventy-five. That's okay. Saint Charles. That is one of the properties that he owns. You are assessed. It's okay. I don't mind getting assessed. Twelve dollars to Arthur. So there's no point in making that trade yet, because then he could afford Park Place. When he can't afford Park Place, then, and if no one seems to get it, I guess may have to make a trade. Ooh, he can't afford so. So Pacific Avenue, I will be getting for how much? Two forty-nine. All right, say fifty, only fifty-one dollars. But okay, it's fifty-one dollars. They don't have to pay. I wish I have let Arthur take that. Nine. That is the railroad that he owns. So there's one more property left. It is Park Place. If Arthur gets it, then I will have to make some trades. But if I get it, let's see, pay Arthur $50. That is not good. You can't be giving me $100. You just can't. I 
Wow, he got a two. That is not good. Wow. So look at that. I get part place for $181. That is good. Arthur. That was and that was very bad for Arthur. Look at that. I own boardwalk and park place. And look at that, I get another hundred dollars. Let's see, so the maximum amount of money I can give Arthur is $48. Alright, Arthur, he would like to trade. To trade. So he would like Baltic Avenue. Of course, I must reject this trade offer. Let's put four houses here. Just in case. I don't want the chance of giving Arthur, you know, $48 and then having to mortgage property. But that is helpful. $28. So I wonder if this will be enough to eliminate Arthur. And I won't have to make a trade. Let's see if I get out of jail free. Arthur would like that. Six. All right. $25. That's okay. So I guess I'll put the two houses there. Actually, let's see. Arthur may lose if he lands on him. He got the go to boardwalk. Could have lost. $24 to Arthur. Wow, I have $0. Marvin Gardens. Few eight. That's okay. Good. $200. Six. You can't be giving me $100, Arthur. You're down to 207. Ooh, he survived. 207. Man. You can't be losing that go money. What? He got a 5. So I'll take $8 from you. That's good. Look, he's 815. So, yeah. He would lose had he landed on either Boardwalk or Park. He would lose. Alright, of course I won't be rejecting that trade offer. Of course if he passes go then, he would survive. But he have to avoid income tax. Because I believe it's 1100 Pay hospital, that is not good. Look at that. $18. You can't be giving me $18 under any circumstances. Phew, I don't mind landing on Park Place. $440. Phew. Let's add, let's increase the damage. And when I was wanted by houses, then press B now. So now it's $1,700 and $1,300. So basically, Arthur will be eliminated if he lands on either of them. For now. Of course, he passes go a few times. Let's see, what is this? Pace with Ridiculous, so Pennsylvania Avenue has to go. So use your get out of jail free card. Exactly. Don't be suing me now. Alright, he will get out free. 10. Good, let's unmortgage Pennsylvania Avenue. Good. Definitely don't want to end the game with properties that are mortgaged. That would not look good. That would be worse than fin finishing the game in jail. Here we go. Will Arthur survive his elimination roll? Let's see. He got a 12. The game is over. Wow. That was a really quick game. Alright, anyway, I will see you in the next video.